Good morning or good afternoon, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I wanted to take you to the gym with me and show you today's workout, which is gonna be very glutes and hamstrings focused. It's gonna be a good one, very excited. Thought I would just grab the camera and take you along with me. Let me show you what I'm wearing today because I quite like my outfit today. Just ignore the laundry situation in the background. I don't use this humble dryer, I think it's such a waste of energy. And when I say energy, I mean my bill paying money. <laughs> this is my outfit of the gym today. So I never really wear gym tops. Is that bad? I'm sorry, I just don't, I just don't really wear them. Mainly because they're expensive and crop tops are so pretty that I don't wanna cover it up. And they're cheaper and I just don't like sweaty material clinging to me. I'm wearing this jacket which is from Gymshark which I love, absolutely love. Um, this crop top is a Nike one and I've got these leggings um, which are from USA Pro which I absolutely love. This is the second pair of these exact leggings that I've owned. The first pair unfortunately started ripping on the inner thigh um, and so I went back to get another pair. Unfortunately they didn't actually have them in the size that I needed which was a small which is a UK size 8. So these are a size six, they're an extra small, but they're just super stretchy. However, that just doesn't give me a lot of hope for how long these will last. Um, but they're just so cute, I really like them. For my trainers, I've just got these super cheap white Nikes. So yeah, that is my outfit for the gym today. My gym plays really loud music and um, so I won't be able to talk to you guys while I'm doing the session. So switching to voiceover says, let's get straight into the workout. You ready? <laughs> Now for my warm-ups, I like to use this format. So I start up with some low intensity steady state cardio, dynamic stretches, then I foam roll. So just roll out any tight points in my muscles. And then I do some activation exercises that are targeted to the workout that we will be doing. Um, so starting on the cross trainer, I will do 10 minutes of that on level 10. I really like this bit of the workout because I just get to chill and choose my playlist and just have 10 minutes peace which is you know really underrated and um, so yeah choose a level that suits you I do tend to move about with it so doing some low running and then some driving backwards as I lean forward um, and I just change it up as I feel so getting the blood flowing getting the muscles moving not getting excessively tired uh, so 10 minutes on the cross trainer then we move on to the dynamic stretches the dynamic stretches are targeted to the workout that I'll be doing as today is very lower body focused specifically glutes and hamstrings my stretches are aimed towards that as well so when I say dynamic stretches that is essentially still reaching almost full range of movement but you're moving through uh, the the furthest points if that makes sense so dynamic because we are stretching but we are still moving through the stretch I like to do these at the start of a workout um, to really make sure that I'm not overly tight or anything like that. Um, and then I do my static stretching at the end of a workout. Moving on to some activation. So we'll be doing lateral squat walks. I'm using an exercise band for this. You can find the link to these exercise bands. They're super affordable and really good. Uh, you can find the link in the description box of this video. So lateral squat walks to just really activate the glutes and get them firing before we get into the workout. And then we are doing um, some bent leg raises. So lying on the side, 20 on each leg, lifting the top leg up so that the knees push apart 
I like to keep the band above my knee joint so that I don't put that pressure across the knee joint. Um, and these will make you feel like jelly. <laughs> By the way, you guys, you might struggle <laughs> to get up afterwards, as you can see me doing here. Oh gosh, the stress, the absolute stress of it. Then I move on to doing some core activation, which might sound a little weird, but oh my goodness, this is great. So a lot of the exercise that we do, a lot of life, <laughs> we use our core to stabilize the trunk when the limbs are moving. So doing that plank walk just really helps to do that. Then we're moving on to some single leg squats, one down and then two back up. So sitting back, weight through the heels, using the adductors and the abductors to stabilize the knee um, and getting that knee positioning right before we go on and do movements that require us to get that knee positioning right when it's under heavy load. So just really thinking mind to muscle connection while we're doing these activation exercises because then we get to practice them and make all the mistakes here before we're doing them under weight or uh, more intensely. Cool, then we move on to the main workout. Now I like to start off with my most intense exercise first. Now that could either be technically most intense or it can be heaviest weight first and start off with the ones which need me as fresh as possible first. So we're doing hip thrusts today, first set with just the bar, just to get our positioning and feel right. I don't actually want you to copy my positioning um, in this video because I couldn't find a bench that was a suitable height. So you want a bench that is the same height as your knee. This bench was a bit high which meant that I actually kept my shoulders a bit higher up when leaning against it. You would actually want the bench to be across your scapula, so just below your shoulder blades. And also, I didn't put this bench against the wall, but you definitely want to do that to stop it from moving or sliding out from underneath you. So then when we've added weight, we are going to do three sets of 10. So resting for three minutes between the sets. Um, so doing three sets of 10 with the weight, really squeezing the glutes at the top, making sure that you you are keeping the core nice and tight and then we're going to finish off with 20 with just the bar so just kind of like a burnout set so we're doing 10 just the bar to warm up then three sets of 10 with weight and then 20 with just the bar to finish and really burn out those hip thrusts really getting great glute activation with this exercise then we're moving on to do some single leg Romanian deadlifts, alternating those with static bounds. So this can be referred to as a superset. Um, so starting off with the single leg Romanian deadlifts, you want to get a weighted bar um, and push the hips back uh, as your weight goes through the heel of the planted leg Then squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings to bring the hips back through, keeping a slight bend in the leg, chest nice and high, good posture. Um, and you want the bar to just kind of go straight down so not to be coming too far out in front of you or too far behind you this is a really good exercise for the glutes and hamstrings love that it uses one leg at a time so can really help if you have muscular imbalances as we all tend to lean to one side a little bit and um, so doing 10 on each leg uh, before we switch to the bounds so when i say a superset and um, that means that you do the one exercise you do the next exercise and then you rest so do 10 on each leg of the deadlifts and then move on to the bounds which I'm going to show you um, in a second and just so you know there is a full write out of this workout in the description box of this video so don't worry you don't need to remember it all you can just go to the description box and screenshot this then we're moving on to the bounds. So doing four static bounds, a nice bent knee, really being explosive, jumping as far forward as you can. So go for height and length um, with these bounds. So four one way, and then we're going to do four continuous ones the other way. Now, if you find the continuous hard, that's okay. You can totally stick with the static bounds and the continuous just get that kind of reactive work as well. So you would do these after the Romanian deadlifts and then rest. And then we're going to do a circuit. But this circuit is a burner. <laughs> so we're starting off with some plank outreaches. In the plank position, uh, but with a straight arm, you wanna lift up opposite arm to opposite leg, really working that core, getting a little bit of glute squeeze as you raise and extend the leg. Um, if you find this difficult, that's totally cool. It is very difficult. And um, just come down onto your elbows and you can either hold the plank position for 40 seconds or you can do single limb 
within the outreaches. So instead of lifting up two at a time, you can just go right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, uh, but still getting really good core burn as you do this. So 40 seconds of each exercise, 20 seconds rest. I use a hit interval timer on my phone. Um, there are loads of options on the app store, um, loads of free options as well. Um, so 40 seconds of this, before we move on to the next exercise. Plyo lunges, so lunge jumps. So just jumping, switching through the air from leg to leg, trying to keep good form, weight through the heel of the front leg. This will get you nice and breathless. Do try and be explosive with it. I mean, I know that your legs feel a little bit jelly at this point, but that's okay. We're just solidifying that um, as we do 40 seconds of those. And then moving on to some wide leg squats with a kettlebell weight. So feet just a bit wider than shoulder width apart, slightly pointing outwards, sitting back, squeezing the glutes as you come up and intentionally almost thrusting forward. Um, so making sure that your core is nice and tight. You are really being intentional with that glute squeeze all the way to the top. Um, keeping the chest nice and high and then the last exercise of the circuit are some frog hip thrusts so feet together knees apart the hips up off the floor so make sure your abs are nice and tight um, and that you're not arching your lower back really squeeze your glutes and lift them up it's a limited range of movement but it is intense we're really targeting the gluteal muscles here then the last exercise that we'll do will be these hamstring curls three sets of ten we're doing two up one down so you want to lift the weights with both legs lower it down nice and slowly with one leg so what we're doing by this is really focusing on that eccentric movement so really controlling the movement don't let the weight kind of fall down but really lower it down nice and slowly as you feel the full weight in that hamstring. I like to do this exercise last. My hamstrings are just jelly after this and we're good to stretch and go home. And that's it you guys, that is the full workout. Thank you so much for watching. This workout should take you around about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, if you think that's too long, that's totally cool. You can split it in half. So what you can do is just do the weights on one day and then the next day do the circuit and the hamstring curls. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. And if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos and tell me what you wanna see next. Love you guys so much, I will see you soon.